Hello friends, this is your friend Rakesh. Today we are going to learn how we can achieve this result. The speciality of this graph is the data label itself. So if you see the data label wherein we are getting value along with text. So here we have a text data label which is not available as a default feature in Power BI. This is a hack that we have come up with. So I am going to teach you how you can have this kind of chart or this kind of feature in your graphs. So let's dig in. Here we have a blank canvas. Let me first drop my required fields like uh, order date then my humility till date sales value. So you can see I am getting a line chart and now what I want in my line chart to show data label for the maximum point. So I have created this small DAX function. Using this DAX function, I will get only one single point in my whole line chart. So when I add this in my line chart, so you will see that this is the pointer that I am getting over here. And I want data label to appear only over here, not anywhere else. Let me go to format and just turn on the data labels. So when I turn on the data labels, it will show me data labels for hold the line. I go down in data label. Then I will turn on customize series and just turn off data label for CTC sales. Now my data labels will go away for my line chart. But as my data label is on for my maximum point, so I am getting data label for this point on only. Now the trick part. So in order to make your text available with your data label, you have to just format it. Do not use any DAX function to do, do it. Because if you use a DAX function, the, the value will convert into a text value. Yes, the value will convert into a text value. It, it won't be applicable as a value. So you have to format it, not using a DAX function. So click on your measure. Then here is the format. Here is the value. I mean, what I have done is in inverted commas, I have written sales till date. Then I have closed the comma. Then after the comma, I am writing 0, 0, 0,00. So this will give me the desired result. So if you see over here, the data label has changed now from a single value to a text value. So sales till date and the value of the total sales. So you can see we have achieved the result. If you like these kind of tutorials, please subscribe my channel and also you can join my LinkedIn group. Thanks for joining in. Have a nice day.